show you! Well, this is the, well, not the second part of my review, but it's going to be a review of Nintendo Dogs. Nintendo Dogs and Cats. I've got the French bull Bulldog version. There's the um, Toy Poodle and there's the Labrador. I don't know if there's a third one, I mean, fourth one or whatever. But I like this one because it's got specific breeds that I like in there. Um, I guess start the game. Now, my two dogs are called Daisy and Hotsuma. Now, I'll tell you the personality of each dog. Because yes, they do have personalities. It's like real dogs do. Um, right, I'll show you which one is which. This is Daisy. She's got um, first class in Frisbee. She's beat all of them, all the ranks. So she's a, she's a good girl. She's a girl dog. And this is a hot sumer, my boy dog. His personality is clever, but very, very naughty. And he is very, very naughty. When you take him out for walks, he um, goes straight towards the puddles, he goes for the post boxes, and he misbehaves and rolls into the flowers. So he does everything that, you know, a good dog wouldn't do. So, um, he's not very obedient when it comes to training him for tricks at all. So I'll show you for example. Hosuma! 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 For instance, I'll stroke him first lay down this is what I mean you say to him lay down instead of lay down he plays dead and it's a really annoying glitch I've deleted this trick and cut loads and loads of times and he still lays down and plays dead so there's nothing we can do to fix it because it's really annoying Daisy on the other hand she's okay when it comes to tricks so I'll show you. I'll call her. Daisy! Good girl. Um, sit up. See? She follows it straight away. Scream. She's a good dog. Scream. Wow. <laughs> So I've got two disobedient dogs that do completely different tricks with what, what I'm actually commanding them to do. So yeah, it does get a bit frustrating. She's doing a spin um, trick where I'm telling her to how, so it's a bit annoying. You know, she does have other tricks, but when you want her to, lay down. Oh my good god. My dogs have gone crazy. They've gone all batty. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, this is my cat Bastin. Bastin! Bastin! I don't know if it's the mic or not, I don't know. This, the mic, like I said, the 3DS mic on this console is not really great compared to the DSi. It's a really, really bad, bad microphone. It really takes a lot to, you know, get the, the commands to come out, so... Come on, Bastin! This is basically like my real cat, so um, it's the image of, well, a sex image of my, my cat, so I've got to feed them and, and clean them up, so I'll probably do that in a minute. Hmm. I don't really like the fact that, you know, in this game, cats don't really do much. Cats are really clever animals, and I think my Amato really, you know, you didn't take note of that, you know, cats can do, can do tricks, if they are possible to do tricks, if you look on YouTube you can find it for yourself, they are clever animals, you know, and they do actually go into um, professional show, shows as well, they do, um, I don't know what, what they call, call them, but they do have shows and everything, so they should have did more, you know, more features for cats, you know, because the, especially for people who like cats more than dogs. So it's a bit more biased in this game, to be honest, because I don't know why they put Nintendo Dogs plus Cats in the title when the Cats feature is not really that great, you know? So anyway, let me feed my cats and dogs. I've got to feed them some food because they're absolutely starving and famished. So I'm feeding them. And then I'm going to give them a shower 
I'll show you my points and I'll call it a wrap really so yeah I need to feed them properly because they're actually starving to death <laughs> I've not the fine foods so that's not so bad See hot suma, it always always picks on, on Bastin and Daisy. He's a naughty one. He you he, he lost the bully every, every everybody. Get him some milk. Yeah, some milk. If you feed them milk instead of water, you get, actually get more trainer points. So it goes blue. If you fed them water you get green the green sparkles. But if you feed them milk you get blue sparkles. So take note of that. Also, if you play toys with them, you get points, trailer points for doing that. Um, there's certain things you get for doing tra doing things with your dogs and cats or whatever. Like, you know, play with them. They love to play with their toys. And so you get points for doing it. And you can, um, can play at the beach ball, which they seem to love a lot. See that cat jump now. Yeah, so you can, I don't think it's a good idea to play frisbee in the small room because it's not really that possible to be honest. Um I'll show you the, the keyboard. I like that feature, it's really funny. The only time that they um they howl and and sing along is when you use the keyboard. So um, I can't do that yet. You see? Look, the bass is meowing now. Mm. And sit there and listen to the music. You can play the piano. I'll show the piano. Here's all the features we've got. You can play um sorry, one up. Oh, oh that's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. I don't really do anything now unless you play the keyboard. So, um, let me stop that. I'll put the. Let me see. That's when they start barking and whatnot. I'll put the key there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. They love to bark and meow and make woofing sounds. <laughs> so I'll show you my, my diary and my data. I've got about yeah, five thousand and come on. Five thousand two hundred and sixty-eight points. So um I've still got a bit to go. If we think around six thousand points you unlock more objects and stuff like that, so no one's going to give my um, dogs and cats a lovely good shower, so let's stop if I give them a shower now. Find uh, the shampoo. Alright, so watch the top screen. And give, them, give her a nice good wash. I'll turn the 3D effect off. There you go. What I understand about is the cats in this game, you can give them a shower, but in real life, if you try to wash a cat the way you wash the cat in this game, they'll rip you to shreds. And I know that for a fact first hand because my cat is absolutely crazy when I try to wash him. So, you know, it's a bit unrealistic, isn't it? Wash on this side. Why are you turning around, Daisy? Yeah, it really is unrealistic. I don't know why Daisy keeps turning around. Keep still. Oh, nice good clean, he's filthy. He's filthy. So yeah, um, it really is stupid that, you know, the way they shower cats in this game. 
because no cats will let you shower. I'll show you, look, the way they shower with this game. If this was real life, you know, I'll be cut to shreds. It's so realistic. Well, that's a game and all, but, you know, should make it a bit more realistic, shouldn't they? Make more of a challenge. It's a good thing, though, because imagine if basting it you know, in the game was scratching and screaming. It would would it be a really nice experience to watch them then, would it? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> cats hate bass. Some of them like bass, not all cats like bass. So <laughs> my real cat, Bastin, he doesn't like bass at all. So <sighs> Give a nice sprints over. Crowing away. I feel lost there. Keep still. Yeah, yeah. They love to meow, don't they? And that's it for Bastin. He's done. Let's wash the seamer. Give him a nice good wash. And then turn around, hot seamer. So I can wash you. That's it. You see, hot seamer's the naughty one. He always makes a fuss when I try to wash him. Enough. That's all my dogs and cats are washed up anyway. So I'm probably going to end up taking a four hour walk. So let me save the game. Just that. Uh, so yeah. Um. I will try to do a, a walk in this game, but it's not easy because they run towards the puzzle puddles and whatnot. So you know, it's not really that simple, if you know what I mean. I've got the secret path quite a few times in this game, so. I'm still trying to, there's a glitch. I don't know if anyone's experienced that, but it's a really annoying one like that. This is one of my street pass mates that I've met. I'm taking my 3DS outside. They usually give you gifts if they like you. If they do, they are, I want you to um, go to the park with them. And the tip is, if they ask you to go to the park with them, do it because if you go to the park normal way while taking a walk you get three dogs in the park and you can't train them it's impossible right so when they do this that's it when they, he walks around like that you tug the the, um, the, f the thing and um, you'll give a treat and it'll stop them from doing it it's like a kind of training thing so there's a present over I'm gonna go and grab that Days have got a little bit better when it comes to the puddles and the, the post box, but when it comes to um, the rubbish, she'll go for it. She gave me a present. Oh, I've got a leather key ring. Now, I really need that, so that's a good thing. It's another street past me. Uh, let's see if I get a present from her. Yep, so he's asked me to go to the park, so that's what I'm going to exactly do. And he sends me to the park, and I can play frisbee with my dogs. Oh, it's not the park, sorry, it's the cafe. So yeah, you can just give him a, do the coffee or whatnot. And, um, they eat it. Yeah, the whole thing! 
Naughty dog. That was I'll pay for that and then yeah. Talk about face day. So yeah, you can play the balls and whatnot with them. You get trader points if you play with them more often. Don't play with it a bit and you get um they get the gold sparkly bits. We are jumpy today, aren't they? So yes, we're waiting for days to get a sparkly one. Sparkly gold. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. <laughs> um, we can't do frisbee. Oh, there you go, she just got it. So, um, I'll try the bubbles. Right, um, Bubbles. You got um, the helicopter. Fly around. Can't do it one hand though. Impossible to do it one hand. So that's the helicopter. The burger toy. It depends on how randomly you get toys when you. It also depends on the trainer points as well. So that's part of it as well. Right, anyway, let's get to the park. Let's leave because we don't have much time to um, play. Because of the video length. So let's move on. Move on. Let's go then, Daisy. Away from the post box. You see? She goes right towards it. You give them a treat. And she moves along. Now, I don't know how long exactly I have to keep, give them a treat because. I've given them a treat since June and they still haven't stopped going running to the post box. So that is annoying. Come on in Daisy. You still get the glitches as well, so I'll avoid them because I will need to hurry this up a bit. Get a free day lamp. Come on in Daisy. Move along. Daisy's much more slower when it comes to walks compared to Hot Seema. Hot Seema runs much faster. So there is a lot of variance in terms of personality for each dog. Um, yeah. I think she might do a poop. There she goes. Oh, that's the way. Oh, so just hurry this along to get to the end. I'm not going to go too long. Unless it's a secret path, but I've got secret path two times in a row, so. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Oh, she, what's she doing now? Come on, Daisy. So you can you can stop them doing this. So give them a treat, and it makes them go a bit more faster. You get gold stars, gold, golden bits for them for doing that. Let's go, Daisy. And that wraps up my um. Dog walk. That's my um, Nintendo Dogs review. Go out and buy it. It's a really good game. It's only interesting game at the moment on the 3DS, apart from you know, usual shovelware and stuff that you can get. So um, yeah, see so my my dog Daisy saying goodbye to you all. Bye Daisy. Say goodbye to everyone. Scream. That's a goodbye from Daisy. See ya and thank you for watching my Nintendo Dogs review. See ya and goodbye.